Hello and welcome to vlog number 47. This week I returned to the National Hospital for Neurosurgery and Neurology to have some adjustments made to my deep brain stimulation neurostimulator. I was having some issues with tremor on my left side, particularly in my leg, and also my voice, which has been adversely affected since before my last adjustment in August this year. Just when you think that the optimum settings have been found for your particular set of symptoms, Something happens to lessen that effectiveness. At the end of 2016 I thought that my DBS settings were as good as they were going to get, evidenced by the fact that I went for about six months between reprogramming appointments. Immediately following my operation, my settings were modified on a daily basis initially. This was because the operation had caused swelling within the brain, which affected the response to the stimulation that the system was providing. As the swelling receded, different settings were required, but less often. My visits to hospital for adjustment reduced to every four to six weeks as the team carefully tweaked my settings in pursuit of maximum symptom control. So, once your settings have been optimised, why do they need to be readjusted? Well, it could be due to disease progression. DBS isn't a cure, it simply suppresses some of the symptoms of Parkinson's. And Parkinson's, which is an incurable, progressive neurological condition, continues to progress behind the scenes. And eventually the severity of the symptoms exceeds the capability of the DBS system to suppress them. And so requires the stimulation to be changed to cope with the current state of the disease. It could also be due to the brain getting accustomed to the stimulation that it is receiving. And so that stimulation then becomes less effective. To be honest, nobody really knows. It's probably a bit of both. When I was being reprogrammed this week, my wife remarked upon the process, which is proper trial and error stuff. The programmer makes an adjustment and asks me how it feels. Then another adjustment and asks, how about now? And so the process continues until the programmer thinks we've reached a satisfactory state of symptom control, at which point I'm asked to get up and walk down the corridor execute a 180 degree turn and walk back. The programmer watches me for signs of balance and gait problems and makes more adjustments. This process continues until the programmer is satisfied, at which point I'm told to go away for an hour, walk around, have a coffee and see how I feel. If I'm happy with the new settings then I just go home, but if I think they are problematic then I return to the hospital and the process resumes. My wife's point was that the surgery is very high tech and very precise, involving the accurate implantation of two electrodes into a specific area of the brain with submillimetric precision, but the process of adjusting the system afterwards is so hit and miss. And so it is, but I guess that that's because of the nature of PD. Everybody's PD is different and requires different stimulation to control different symptoms to different degrees. My first set of revised settings felt fine initially. It was only when we were sitting down having coffee that I became aware of a returning tremor in my left leg. I returned to the hospital to let the programmer have another go, telling her that the problem was tremor in my left leg. Does it bother you? she asked. Well, yes, I replied, feeling that I was probably being a little ungrateful. When I think back to how I was before my operation, a little tremor in one leg seemed hardly worth a mention. My DBS has improved my quality of life beyond measure, suppressing a tremor that had become so violent that I was having difficulty in feeding myself, not to mention the many other small improvements in other symptoms that I really hadn't expected. It's really not that I'm ungrateful, it's just that if I have a symptom that can be controlled by my DBS without detriment to other symptoms, then I'd like to have those settings programmed into my nearest stimulator, please. Anyway, the programmer made some more adjustments and sent me away to see how they were. My wife and I went away for more coffee and decided that the tremor control was now improved, so we left London and returned home to Norfolk. It's now four days since my device settings were changed, and my left leg tremor is now worse than ever. I do have the ability to increase the voltage of the stimulation delivered to each electrode in my brain, so today I have increased the voltage on my left side. I waited until today to do so because it takes several days for me to physically recover from travelling to London and back, 
and fatigue can affect my symptoms as well. I felt an immediate improvement in tremor, but within half an hour I noticed it was creeping back. I increased it by another couple of clicks, but I can feel it creeping back already. My head is feeling a little detached from reality, which, no doubt, is due to the higher voltage that is now fizzing away deep within my brain. I think that another visit to hospital is on the cards much sooner than I would like. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. Have a great week. See you next Friday.